double fisting it today. I'm in the arsehole. Sorry in Vicargo nights, but yep, that's what we call you up on the west coast. I'm going deep today, deep down to Stewart Island. Alright, Stuart Island, here we come! <laughs> Stuart Island. Welcome, lads. Right, this is the Chew Tobacco Hunter's Hut here, the block that we've got. Down Stewart Island, it's a nice tidy little hut, little log burner in the corner, two, four, six berth. I pitch my tent outside to stay away from these noisy buggers. Probably going to be yahooing and carrying on all hours of the night. And uh, there's quite a good stock of food here already. Probably didn't even the bring any food. I haven't seen one sand fly yet, but looking at all of that black flag, I'm guessing that there are sand flies down here. Oh yeah. Um keen to go to some other spots and check it out so anyone born in the 70s will probably remember choice of leaf tea or maybe it's been around the whole time someone just mentioned before it didn't even go away but I'm pretty sure choice fell off the back of the truck and now it's back on the truck and back in the mainstream orders well, now look at that choice of leaf tea I can't believe this little 450 got six of us in gear across the strait. It's a pretty good going, eh, hey, mate? Only half an hour, too. Yeah. <laughs> Quick as. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's alright, it's not that good. A bit better. Ah, oh, it's real yuck. Balls, it's fairly. Sweet, we got ourselves a good feed anyway. How's that for a score? Right outside the hut, just off the point. Got a uh, decent sized buck. Where'd, where'd you get him? Just out off the point. I was just uh, cruising around uh, looking for some scullies actually, but no scullies to be found. But instead we uh, found ourselves a crustacean. Yeah, it's a good score. We've got a good feed of power. A couple of kinners. Kinners are yuck as at the moment. Jason scored a paddle crab. And uh, is that chunk still out there? Did you show Chunk the cray? Yeah. Mean, so Chunk might get one too, hopefully. It's a bloody great feed. Great feed for the, for the first afternoon.
don't know about the fridge placement the fridge is right there and the long drops right here you think bloody Department of Conservation whoever put the long drop in would have put it not next to the creek but on the other side of the hut where there's no creek I mean, I've been some clever bastards I'm sure we're not going to die of poo poisoning Hey mate this episode's proudly brought to you by Spates Summit Ultra Low Carb Lager because Jason's an athlete. Thanks, sir. Really good, bit of vinegar. So good. sniffer hounds on the trail the wind's blowing right up our ass and we're walking down the beach maybe these aren't the smartest deer in the world I don't think they are I think whitetail are, are pretty ignorant of humans most of the time I think air scent they freak out ground scent not so much that's what it's like in Canada anyway whether or not it's the same here remains to be seen I think we're going to climb to the top of the hill and then shoot them from on the top of the hill down on the next beach those other fellas are going over the hill against our better judgment. Me and Jason have decided to walk around the rocks and see if we can get over over there or around there without getting a wet ass because that surf's just pumping into them. We'll see. It's an adventure. No worries. We're going to make it around with a dry, dry ass and dry boots, I think. We don't know whether to just boost down the beach or wait for the other guys. They're probably still halfway up the bloody hill. Oh no. Everyone's pretty tired. It's been a lot of driving the last couple of days to get down there. There's a bit of a track here that cuts up over the hill. Old dock track by the looks of it. And that wind's right up our ass. We're sneaking along. And pretty nice forest up here, it's all open. They got rata trees up here. It's just popping over the bloody hill. Lots of creeks and ups and downs and it's just shit. A bit over it and thirsty. Truth be told, I actually thought we were just gonna walk down to the beach from the hut and shoot one. Not come three bays over. There's a lot of deer prints everywhere we go. There's deer prints of this. A deer up here. Finally, the wind's in our face. 
coming down onto the beach. Now we're just gonna wait till the wait till it gets dark and hopefully shoot one. There's quite a few prints right about 20 feet underneath us actually, so better luck on walk out right under us and we'll just go. Sweet, we've just pegged one, just walking down the beach. I've just got the big camera out and the lens zoomed in and bloody walk behind the rock. But hopefully it'll pop back out and just walk this way. We could actually boost down to the beach and charge. Should we go and decept it? No, I can wait. Wait. Give it 20 minutes. Shoot an easy one here. Yeah, go about half an hour till dark, I think. So. I might come around, yeah, might all the way over to us and we can just shoot it and go home for a cup of tea. going to boost down the cliff, charge along the beach and see if we can get up there and smack him. He's just on the slip, he might bugger off into the bush but I think so. Around the corner of those rocks we should be able to line him up and knock him over. How'd you boys go? Uh, you, you don't want to go where we went. Fuck, you don't want to go where we went either, mate. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, every, no matter which way you go, eh? Yeah. yeah, every which way we turned, the bloody wind was right up our ass. Yeah. You better go have a look at that food, mate. What's that? Yeah, have a look at that food, mate. Ready for you. Oh, the food's good to go, is it? Mutton, is it? <laughs> Mutton dressed as lamb. Mutton dressed as lamb. Look at this we got. That's cool to see one, though, Jones. Green shit and brown shit. Oh, mate, good work. Another day in paradise. It's still only seen about 10 sand flies. This is grand. I guess there's not enough rivers down here to sustain a healthy population of sand flies. Certainly not many. What do we got there, mate? Ramen Q meat juice. And some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. Boys bought a crane net. We found this one at the hut. She's she's a bit bit euchid, but you're gonna cable tie it back together and chuck them out. See if we can get some craze in the pot. I've got some parlour and stockings for bait. Boys, you're going to get dropped off in the bush over there for a hunt. And then me and Jace are going to go fishing. Big tides at the moment. Oh, there we go. Here 
feels strange driving a little boat again after driving those big flash ones. It does, it does. It takes a bit to get used to it again. Yeah. Fishing time. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, yeah, Paunch Mag. Paunch Mag. Paunch Mag. What do you rocking there, mate? Well, the uh, Black Magic Snapper Flashes. Over there. Yeah. Uh, turns out you need bait on them black magic flash rigs as well. We're not catching anything. What's the high? Oh, mate! Uh. Oh, it's cutting up. We're heading into calmer waters. Pre tangle. Came pre tangle. I love them pre-tangled ropes. Yeah. Good. Hoping to see a random deer. I think we saw one top of the last clearing, a couple of years sticking up above the grass and then they disappeared. So. Didn't shoot it though. This one, this one. Wasn't very convincing one. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, take two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just pulled off the flukiest shot I've ever, I've ever pulled off. <laughs> Jason spotted two whitetail up on the ridge there, so I grabbed the gun and the bloody boat was rocking all over the place and I just waited for a rock and then I didn't even squeeze the trigger, I just aggressively pulled it so I could try to get it on the right rock and it sacked one, it fell over, I couldn't believe it. Right, now we've actually got to get off the boat without crashing the boat and falling in the water. Closer, yeah, good. <coughs> We don't have to worry about gutting him. I managed to gut him and shoot him at the same time. And he's tiny. Oh, it's gonna be front shoulders off him at least. Oh, look at those. Tail. That's a trophy right there, isn't it? Look at that. Just like that, deer in a bag. Not even the molly walks like sea perch. Oh, we'll hit up to the other spot, eh? White tail, cod, sea perch, and barracuda. He's got my bombing knocker. Charlie made that. Charlie will be stoked. I'm just 
going to restock the cray pot with some barracuda. Great service. We had to hickerangi the mincer up with a number 17 socket. Tap that on the end because the, the handle splintered or shattered. So I'm hoping if we tap that socket on the end then we'll be able to keep mincing with the using the ratchet as a handle. I think it's gonna work. Powerful lunch. What what are you up to there, mate? Just gonna grab a bit of old baling twine here and tie it to some of the fish frames we got from today and uh, tie it to some rocks, jump it out and uh, hopefully get some petal crabs hanging around them. Mark's sharing his wife's meaty loaf with the rest of the lads and what a meaty loaf it is. Check this out. Oh, look at that. This is the secret to a good parlor patty. You put the guts in there. Just the white guts, not the green guts or the blue guts. Just cut the white bit off the guts, chuck it in. So good. You can just eat that like it is to it. Actually tastes like tour tours, like puppies. It's real good. And get a few patties out of this bunch. We're just making this up as we go along. We chuck some curry powder in. Mark thought this was um garlic it's actually smoky garlic so we chucked about four tablespoons in <laughs> it's gonna be just a salty mass of salty power smoky good. though it's gonna taste like the ocean wood gotta get some wood for a fire so we can cook this bloody pig Starting to have my doubts about this bit rose for the pig because we're quite away from camp and the amount of effort it's going to take Mark's to turn and he's like fuck I'm going to carry all this shit back single handed and eat the whole pig myself. We've got the camp's way the hell over there and this deadwood's way the hell up here. I think there's got to be an easy way to do this. <coughs> Haven't actually figured out what that easy way is. Maybe we just chuck the wood into the water and tie it back with a boat. Or we could move the spit roast up here. What do you reckon, Mark? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Have a bit of a burn off. It's yeah. pretty volatile, isn't it? It, it is the other problem. There's lots of dead fern everywhere and dead carnica and dead rata. It could just go whoop whoop and it's quite windy. To say, there's a lot of deer sign up here. Everywhere we go. Right like there's just mobs of deer running around everywhere. Look, look at this. Possum trapper, been hanging his possums in the tree here. A bit of a bugger, we can't light a bloody fire up here. This is turpentine here. The forest would just go woof woof. Broadleaf, we're going to burn the dead stuff, it makes real good firewood. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, mate. Can we knock off now, boss? Oh, you got a power? A couple of powers. 
Oh, and a crab. Look at that little beauty. He's got, sharp, he's got sharp pincers, eh? Did he get you? Yeah. Is that why he's missing one, eh? Really? Just going to put this crab out of its misery just before we uh, rip the lid off and uh, get the guts and gills out. Straight in the centre in here. Just see the last nerve endings coming through and we're good to go. There you go, how to get rid of crabs. Mark's had a bit of practice at that over the years, eh? I dunked my nuts in petrol once trying to get rid of crabs. Put the car bonnet off. There we go. Oh, lovely. That has got to be a kiwi beak hole. Right next to the hut. There's the hut right there. Kiwi beak hole. I'm assuming that's what it is. Nothing else to make a bloody hole on the ground like that. Interesting. Let's see if I can film one tonight. Going a bit, a bit of a kiwi hunt. Hunting time. Going to be a spot of gentleman hunting tonight and a, sp a spot of boat hunting. Someone's going to come a gut to launch in that boat one of these days. The lad's just going to pick up the other boat, the DNA 450C, and four in that boat, two in the rubber ducky, I think. A couple of people shore hunting, a couple of people boat hunting. Oh, passing high performance. This thing will crank out four knots, full tap. It's a lovely evening, just lovely. You guys may remember Mark from. <laughs> oh, I didn't film that stuff actually. <laughs> Probably just as well. What's the plan, bro? I don't know, I'll have a bit of a nosy at some of these beaches in here where uh, some of the animals have been coming down to. Maybe have a bit of a sneak around the coast. How'd you boys go? Not too bad. Chunk managed to uh, make a hole in one. A couple right out on the point. He uh, did bloody well to uh, shoot one off the boat while it was moving up and down. Were they on the rocks? Uh, just above the just above the rocks. Shit. Awesome. But couldn't retrieve them though. Ah. Nowhere to nowhere to land. Well, do you so, reckon we'll uh, get them tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's the mission tomorrow. Plan now is boys going boys going for a crabbing mission. Paddle crabs, sparing paddle crabs. Hopefully there'll be a few hanging around the baits we put out earlier. Get him. Oh. Got him! Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh, did you get two? Oh, Holy one. shit! Oh, don't bite me. There's a lot of meat on that one, isn't there? What a win, eh? This is up there with miniature sword fishing. This is king crabbing. I don't know if we're going to get our own show on the Discovery ah. Channel. <laughs> it's not that dangerous, is it? <laughs> oh, he's got his eye in. Oh, perfect. Straight through all of them, mate. A little mokey right there. Right a little there. mokey. Paddle. Little paddle. Oh, is there crabs everywhere? There is. Oh, you got the bait as well. Good shot. He's going back to the baits. Oh, he's, hey, look, he's coming to the spear. Two for, oh, two for one. Slightly right, and right there, hold us here if you can. Holy shit, just keep stabbing there, mate. Oh, good shot, mate. Good shot. Got him on the march. Vickers can't be choosers, mate. Whoa, look at that cod. How oh, about these? Mate. Look at that. Don't open my bonnet. 
Got a 1.5 litre in there. Fun for all ages. Bit of a rainy day. The boys are going to get the uh, deer that chunk shot. We're going to try to get the deer that chunk shot. I'm going to light the fire and get the big coal base ready for this pig. Luckily, we found this bit of square rebar out the back there, so I'm just going to bend it into a U and somehow fasten the pig to it because I really need to hold the pig's blade open. It'd be great if we had some more of this stuff, but we don't. Uh, I guess I'll just cut some green karma here or something and use that to spare the pig. Should do the trick, hopefully. That there, folks, is a Samuel Harrison custom Bowie knife. It's the best knife I've ever owned. I reckon about seven seconds before your hand starts burning is a pretty good time. Uh, that's about 30 seconds. Move her a nudge closer, eh? Bloody hell, it just fell over and got dirt all over it. Basting it with some sand. Uh, I'll prop it up with a stick, that'll be easier. All broken down. Well, it sounds like the lads had it. Did you have a successful recovery? Yeah, a bit of a mish getting up, up in there, but got it. What's, uh, what's that mixture you've got there, mate? Uh, a couple of spice rubs, a bit of garlic, a bit of lemon. Or lemon juice, didn't have a zester, and morello cherries, um, the usual barbecue type flavours, so hopefully it's nice. What kind of seasonings? Some master foods? A bit of Greg's Louisiana Cajun that I found in the bin, should be pretty good. Not a lot of meat on them, but it's very tasty. What have you got here, Chief? Oh, just a bit of garlic salt and some salt and pepper to do a bit of justice, and then we'll let the natural flavours come out. Bloody good. Is that off the deer you shot last night? Yeah, yeah, so a bit rushed. A lot of people like to let it hang a bit longer, but Oh well, we may as well get amongst it. Bloody pig's taking so long, we thought we'd get a bit of a starter first. Oh, you nailed it. Look at that. It's perfectly cooked. The boys got the cray pot, no crays in the pot, so they brought it out here and they chucked it in for some crabs. So we're going to get the dead deer skin and chuck that in the cray pot to catch some more crabs because those crabs were such good eating. This is the life. 
<laughs> we were meant to rip it in real quick before they could get away. Oh, what? Oh, what? Nothing, not even one crab. Yeah, they actually heard that down here, the best crab bait is white tail head and skin. We're going shallow, we reckon it's too deep, there's no crabs out this far. <laughs> Me and Ryan just going over to check the broadleaf while the other fellas make sure old mate doesn't fall onto the fire. And there might be a whole bunch of white tail eating the broadleaf and we can just shoot one. Bit of luck. No white tail. Oh, how good does that look? There's a shitload of blood and shitload of hair. We pulled up into this little bay. It was actually right in shot, but I was in the front and he got up and ran. Stopped right in the bush edge, so I quickly let out of the gun and smacked him from the boat. And he ran down, fell over, and we were coming up to get him. And he got up, legged it up the hill. Pulled. We're going up, we've got the knife and he torches, we'll see if we can track him down. But Ah, when we saw him take off, he was heading straight uphill, but what he's done, he's hit the bush and then he's turned right straight away. And he's gone this way, so that's good. He's got a blood trail now. And stop, I just heard him up ahead. Mean, got him. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Well, I must have shot him right in the ass. Oh, great representative trophy there. Look at that, eh? <clears throat> Back to the boat, we'll cruise down and maybe Ryan can shoot one on the beach. These things are pretty easy to carry out. That was pretty easy hunt. Drink. <laughs> I feel a bit bad about poaching Ryan's shot there, but it's alright. Gotta have your lawns cut occasionally, eh mate? Gotta have a captain. Someone's gotta drive the ship. I actually wasn't expecting to see anything when we pulled in here, because we had a good look at it on the way past. And we must have just been down on that dip, and then... I didn't even see him, you saw him first. We did, did he just jump up, did he? Yeah, he just jumped up. Let's see him move. Lucky we hang around. Yeah. Jumped up, run, and stopped right on the bush edge and pegged him. Right in the ass, Texas heart shot. Well, it wasn't quite actually, it was in, blew his leg joint out the poor bugger. 746. Two. <clears throat> uh, oh, shit. What you got there, mate? A couple of cod and a couple of trumpeter. Uh, first two trumpeters, so I'm pretty pretty stoked with that too. And a couple of paddle crab to top it off. That's a trophy paddle crab and a half, isn't it? Sweet as. Cheer, bro. Were they in the pot, were they? They were indeed. Eating a deer skin. Ah. Oh. Into it.
Me and Ryan actually went to check the pot on the way in and I ran it over. Is that why I was broken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it, sent the engine straight into it. Ging, ging, ging. Like, oh, right, oh, let's just go in, shall we? Oh, look, Mark, we'll leave this one. Oh, we got heaps of pressure. 